This is exciting, and uh, I, and I, I've been living and sleeping, you know, the broadband ever since. We've been working pretty heavily on the UCDB project to get folks signed up, and also was heavily involved with other researchers trying to understand broadband adoption around the country. But then when we look around the country at the different things that are happening, the impact on different regions, it's it's amazing, and it's hard to really understand what the potential here. Uh, is for this. When you look at examples like um, larger towns like the Chattanooga example or even smaller places like Lafayette, Louisiana and Wilson, North Carolina, uh, you see that this uh, high-speed broadband network really brings together uh, so many different organizations that normally uh, in the past haven't really worked together. Uh, there's a great opportunity to think about this not only for our schools, and appreciate the comments about Unit 4, uh, but also for our libraries uh, as well too. You know, we're looking at libraries as, as becoming a new model of how to help um, everybody that lives in our community, how to um, be able to uh, not only get the information that they need, but go to the next level of uh, learning how to develop uh, mobile applications while in a library. You know, so you go to the library and say, hey, you know, I'm a young person, I've got this idea for uh, uh, developing an app, how do I do it? And then you've got a little lab right there in the library that's connected on these broadband, these gigabit speed networks to do that. And we're engaged in research right now on campus trying to look at these new models of creating libraries as these information resources for that type of economic development and entrepreneurship as well. And so um, it, it, it's, it's very exciting to be able to see that and really create these kinds of opportunities uh, here uh, within, with our community as well. So. Thanks. Give him a round of applause too. He can